Many of my students already are aware of the hero's journey, which is Joseph Campbell's original idea, also known as the monomyth, which he wrote about and published in 1949 as the hero with a thousand faces. Since most people know this, I'm going to briefly present it here to the backdrop of Luke Skywalker's original story, Star Wars Episode IV, A New Hope, which most of my students have never seen. Joseph Campbell compared stories from around the world and especially studied hero stories. He found many commonalities and similarities and created this general idea of unification, which he termed the monomyth. Here's a simple diagram, perhaps the simplest, as there are many more available all over the internet, of Campbell's hero's journey, broadly recognized as common knowledge today. I will use this in relating the first introduction story of Luke Skywalker in Star Wars, step by step. So in the ordinary world on Tatooine, Luke is a farmer living with his aunt and uncle. A call to adventure comes when R2-D2 and C-3PO arrive. R2 flees and Luke must get him back before his uncle finds out. Meeting the mentor precedes the refusal of the call as in searching Luke gets hit over the head and meets his mentor, Obi-Wan Kenobi. He gets another call from Obi-Wan to adventure. He must learn the force and follow in his father's footsteps. Thus begins Luke's father quest, a quest for his character, which plays out more so in the other films. Then he refuses the call. Luke refuses the call as his uncle needs him for another year. He crosses the threshold by returning home to find his aunt and uncle murdered, and they leave home, he and Obi-Wan, as he has crossed the threshold to adventure now by accepting the call and leaving home with Obi-Wan. He meets Han and Chewie, Tess, allies, enemies, learns to use a lightsaber and follows the call of R2 to save Princess Leia from the evil empire. As they approach the final ordeal, they head to the planet Alderaan, which is not there anymore. It's been destroyed. They discover the Death Star and get captured, then find out that Leia is a captive there on the Death Star. The ordeal of the death and rebirth is that they rescue her and they need to escape. They descend into this dungeon, which almost kills them, this trash compactor. Luke gets taken by a serpent underwater and returns. Uh, from underwater to re-emerge and they all escape the trash compactor. So it's a different kind of death and rebirth, but no less of one. For the reward, they escape and must destroy the Death Star. In order to do so, they must deliver the plans to the rebels and Luke joins the fight, which is what he always wanted to do. So that is his reward. They destroy the Death Star, Han Solo comes back to help, and they save the rebels, restoring hope, restoring hope, which is the name of the film. This is the road back. In terms of the resurrection, Luke is a new man in a new world where he, from where he started. He has new powers and a new purpose. He is resurrected as a totally new person. And he has used the force, gotten a medal, knowledge of himself, and the journey has just begun. His first hero's journey is complete and his prize is a medal, use of the force, knowledge, and things like that. Someone has also done this for the story of Moana. Others do this with most of the Disney films which follow this archetype of hero stories. You'll see it in all of them. In fact, most stories and three act dramas follow this very set of events in creating their stories. There's a few variations here and there. That's why Campbell refers in Power of Myth to Darth Vader and talks about the films. George Lucas used this hero's journey to write the films and plan out all the plot lines of the stories in the first two trilogies. So this is the hero's journey based on Campbell's hero, the hero with a thousand faces. And it's a very interesting take on storytelling but it's also very influential and has been influential over the course of time. 